So now, Maddie's mind is uh, haunted with too many different kinds of bad thoughts that she had caused a great harm to uh, this girl, Wanda Petronsky. Previously, Peggy, when we had gone to Peggy's way of thinking, she has taken everything lightheartedly. If I were not troubled, Wanda, she thought like this. If she had not troubled the conscience of Wanda, she could have not drawn such beautiful drawings and won the contest. No? And, but Maddie was not thinking anything in that way. She thought that she had caused a great problem to Wanda asking different uh, questions. At last, Maddie sat up in bed and pressed her forehead. She pressed her forehead because it was causing her great pain. Okay, She was getting headache. And she really thought this was the hardest thinking she had ever done. Previously in her past, she never had that kind of uh, thought process. In her thought process, one idea flashed immediately in the mind of Maddie. What was that idea? Let's see. After a long, long time, she reached an important conclusion. After having a long thought, after having a long thinking process, she had come out with one good idea. What was that idea? She was never going to stand by and say nothing at all. She never go or she never stand by and cause anybody's feelings. She never hurt the feelings of anybody. That's what she has taken a decision. Sometimes when we are taking certain kinds of decisions, we should be firm and we should be okay thought. Uh, uh, we should be thoughtful because thoughtlessly, if you take any hasty decision, that would definitely lead you to problem. That would not give you any um, good outcome. Okay, if you wanted to get a positivity, if you wanted to grow and develop your positivity, you always think hard and come to one conclusion and that conclusion also must be right and this time she had taken a decision okay what is that i never cause any harm to anybody at any cost i shouldn't cause harm to anybody i shouldn't stand by with any problem makers sometimes you know, in the class also we'll have some troublemakers they always encourage you support you they just wanted to drag you towards them and they will make you stand by them okay by their self but you are not supposed to do that. Here, Maddie just wanted to be away from Peggy because Peggy's mindset is completely different from the mindset of Maddie. And if she ever heard anybody picking on someone because they were funny looking or because they had strange names. What kind of uh, picking that she has chosen, you know, she picked Wanda Petronsky in order to make a funny looking. She was looking so funny wearing the same old faded blue frock because they had some strange names also someone because they were funny looking some people are funny looking some people have funny names as i told you american poles never take or welcome any other poles in the world german poles jew poles as well as this russian poles they give much more priority and importance to only the american even Australian poles were also not being considered by them, okay, in a light manner. In a, uh, they were not so graceful, you know, they were so, okay, they had bitter feelings. In those times, uh, there we can see the racism, okay, they don't like the other races come and settle down in America, in those times. Even now also, here and there, we can see this kind of... Uh, Okay, attitude with the people of America. We are not supposed to blame everyone. I said only some people have this kind of uh, attitude. See here, this girl Maddie had done two mistakes. Okay, whenever she has seen Wanda Petronsky, she used to think about two things. She looks funny and she had a funny name. But when it comes to Peggy, her way of teasing is completely different from Maddie. Her style of teasing is different. But Maddie has some, okay, um, good attitude towards the people. And Peggy, once upon a time, she was good. She never picked the people just like that, okay. She used to protect small kids from bullying, okay. She used to protect the children from elders, those who are making fun of, that's called bullying of small kids and youngsters. And now let's go to 
should speak up even if should speak up even if it meant losing Peggy's friendship. She had no way of making things right with Wanda. Actually, there was no way to be away from Peggy when she, they were teasing Wanda. Wanda was easily being teased because she had to be with Peggy. Okay, apart from Peggy, Maddie couldn't do anything because she's the close friend of Maddie. Peggy was a close friend of Maddie. So Peggy cannot uh, live or do anything without, uh, I mean, Maddie could not do anything without Peggy. Okay, but this time she thought that she, she would speak up even if it meant losing Peggy's friendship. Now she is uh, completely okay, taken a decision and she was uh, so honest at this time and she was so firm even if it takes away the friendship. If I lose the friendship of Peggy in order to save somebody, in order to not go and uh, shake her hands with Peggy for teasing anybody, she doesn't like to tease anyone now. Suppose if it comes to teasing of Peggy, she doesn't like to accompany her. See, you can accompany somebody when there's happening something wrong. When you come to know that something that would really cause damage and if it really cause uh, uh, the hurting of the feelings of somebody, you're not supposed to accompany your own close friend. Okay? You can leave the friendship of somebody, but you're not supposed to leave your attitude. Your behavior, your, be, uh, your way of dealing things, and your characteristic features must be good enough. You are not supposed to lose your own character just because of friendship. Okay, here she has taken a firm decision. And she had no way of making things right with Wanda, but from now, but, but from now on, she would never make anybody else that unhappy anymore. So what kind of decision that she has taken? She doesn't like to cause any unhappy feelings or hurt the feelings of anybody at any cost. On, sun, uh, on Saturday, Maddie spent the afternoon with Peggy. One Saturday afternoon, she spent her time with Peggy. They were writing a letter to Wanda Petronsky. What they started doing? They started writing an informal letter to Wanda Petronsky. What they wanted to mention in that letter? It was just a friendly letter telling about the contest and telling Wanda she had won. They don't want to express anything that had happened in the past. They just wanted to mention in the letter that she had won the contest of drawing and uh, coloring. And she stood first in the class and she also achieved the medal. Okay, whenever she comes down to this place, whether she locates in some other area of America, she could come easily over there and pick her medal. They just wanted to mention that. They told her how pretty her drawings were. They also wanted to appreciate the drawings drawn by Wanda Petronsky. And they told her how pretty her drawings were. And they asked her if she liked the where she was living and if she liked her new teacher. Okay, they just wanted to know where she was drawn and which place that they had moved to. Okay, in which school she had been drawn and what kind of friends that she had made, if she had already made friends, and what's the name of her class teacher, all these casual questions they wanted to ask in the letter. And they had meant to say they were sorry. And finally, they just wanted to ask her apology, saying sorry. Because all these days, they had caused us some, they caused some uh, feelings, uh, hurtful feelings to this girl. Okay, she might be hurt so badly. So that's for that they just wanted to ask the excuses. But it ended up they were just writing a friendly letter the kind they would have written to any good friend and they signed it with lots of X's for love. See? So they have written the letter. They had just stopped writing the letter and in that letter they mentioned what kind of uh, things that they wanted to write and they both signed the with lots of XX for love. Okay, they have not mentioned the names maybe. They have written XX and they also wrote they love it to another bunch. They mailed the letter to Boggin Heights. What did they do? They just posted this letter to Boggin Heights, writing, please forward on the envelope. Because they don't know to which place these people have gone, 
that's why they posted this mail to mail is a um, american english and letter is british english in american english we call it as mail in british english we call it as letter okay they posted this letter they sent this mail to wanda petronsky who lives in bogen heights now they were not there at least that letter would be forwarded to the place where they started living days passed and there was no answer many days passed they didn't get any answer but the letter did not come back the letter also not even come back so maybe wanda had received it they thought that wanda might have received this letter the last part of this lesson will be continued in the next class and then goodbye children sorry for the delay because today i got some technical problem with my recording of process please hope you all can understand this problem and uh, receive this uh, two videos which i am sending now thank you